Hey guys, hope everybody had a good day. Um, I'm gonna make a soap tonight. All fragrance with Nature's Garden's um, Loving Smell. It's a nice little fragrance. And I'm gonna use every neon color that I have on this one. So there's gonna be seven colors. I'm also gonna uh, put some glitter on. This is called Into the Mystic from Mad Micas. It's like a holographic, it's really pretty. Put that on the end and then have the time and everything goes well, I'm going to finish putting up, uh, using up some of these little heart embeds on the top. Whoops. As I knock things over. And these are the colors. They're all from Mad Micas. We have Tennis Ball Breaker. We have Ultramarine Blue. It's pretty colors, let me tell you. Um, we have Cheesy Poof. We have, let's see, what is this one? Radioactive. Orange green. We have Pretty Kitty for pink. We have Grape Ape for uh, the purple. And then I'm going to uh, uh, throw in uh, a black, which then this one is called Wicked with all those neons. And I'm going to do a funnel pour, but without the funnel. Um, so I'll have a big slab mold. Well, not big, but a slab mold. And we'll just alternate each color, pouring them in the middle. And hopefully it will all turn out well. All right, I will uh, be back after our oils are ready and we will get going on this. This milk, I didn't get a chance to freeze it. Actually, I milked the girls this morning and Strained it a few times and put it in the fridge, and now I'm using it. So this is about as fresh as you can get without milking right into the pail. <laughs>
Okay, so here's the neon soap. And as you saw in the video, we had some neon colors accelerate pretty quickly, which I wasn't really thrilled about, but you gotta keep going. You can't stop. So we'll see what kind of design comes out. It's not gonna be what I wanted, but we'll see how this one comes out. So this I have to slice first because it was in a slab mold and then I cut it. So here we'll slice it. And actually I'm gonna grab some gloves because it's still a little soft and I don't want my fingerprints all over the place. Nobody wants that. I don't want to see my fingerprints all over. But okay, well, here's the inside. Pretty cool looking. You can definitely tell the green and the pink and the black. Accelerated. That's where all the little blobs are. <laughs> Those were thick batches. And then the blue and the yellow and the orange were more fluid, which I wanted all of them to be fluid. But yeah, I didn't realize that uh, some neons accelerate like that. So anyways, that's the one side. And this is the same. Oops. I have wax paper down there to help it slide through my cutter. Anyways, I got the glitter on there. Yep, and there's the <laughs> there's the blobby pink and green and blacks, but that's all right. And then there's like where that little hole was I tried to fill in. So we'll see how it does on the on the multi uh, cutter bar, which we'll do right now. Okay, I got it in here to cut. I put the top on the side here, so when I cut through here uh, with these strings. It doesn't grab any glitter and pull it down through the soap and scratch it up. So that's why I have it on the side, if you were wondering. So let's go ahead and slice this little, little bar. Oof. Some end pieces. And, okay, let's get this pulled out. Separate it. And we'll look together. All right, here are these two. This is the Sweethearts 2. I'm doing this at night, so the light's a little different in here. And there it is. This is what's kind of fun too, when you pull it apart and see how it lines up, the swirls. I think it's kind of cool. <laughs> Pretty fun. All right, let's get the next ones. Try to move quickly here. So there's that. And then we'll open it up. Up, oh, yep, there's that big blobby black. <laughs> oh, well, it still turned out pretty cool. Not what I was hoping for, but it's still pretty. Can't go wrong with neons. At least I don't think. I kind of like bright colors. I guess it depends on the mood. Sometimes I like pastel colors too, so. I don't know. I like a little of everything. And whoop. It almost looks like two eyeballs and a <laughs> nose and some fangs or something. Funny what you can see. All right, and two more for this side. And that. That one looks like a weird monster face with goofy eyes on top, huh? I don't know why I'm seeing monsters. I hope I can sleep okay tonight. It's quite sure why I'm doing that. Okay, let me get this other one set up. <laughs> My granddaughter doesn't want to go to bed if you hear her in the background. She wants to explore and keep playing. I know you hear it all the time, but boy, <laughs> I do wish I had the energy she had. This time of night, I'm ready to about fall into bed. Okay, here we go. Cut. That's that. Okay, I would assume the designs are the same, but you never know. You just never know. But all in all, I'm still happy with it. I like that one on that pink. Yeah. Okay, let's see what these are like. <laughs> that one has a little more green. Some of those lines are from when I was drawing, pulling that, uh, it wasn't a chopstick, it was a ske uh, skewer. I think it was a skewer I was drawing through there. But when the batter's nice and fluid, 
it really makes a cool design when you pull it through. But some of these little colors decided to, well, that was kind of cool. See, I see a monster again. See those two pink eyes and funky lips down here. <laughs> so anyways, you just never know when the colors aren't, or the batter isn't fluid. It's not going to make pretty designs. I mean, it still makes a neat design, but not what I was anticipating. There's this side. That's pretty cool. And then this, that's the end. And then that one. Huh. I almost see a goat. I'll have to do this upside down. You'll have to look. It's like the goat face is yellow and orange are the horns. Oops, let me put it together. Right there in the middle. Can you kind of see it? With a little goat face and little eyes and horns. It's goat milk soap. But that kind of looks like an evil goat, so I don't know. Uh, anyways, I'm happy with it. I like the colors. Nice and happy and bright and cheery. So, all right, guys. Have a great day. We'll see you on the next one.